Hi everybody, welcome back to Toys TV for another ex another exciting video. Uh, one of the suggestions we had was to paint uh, Sheriff from Primer back to regular Sheriff. You know what, that's a pretty good idea. I'm going to do that today. So if you wonder what we're going to do today, I'm going to turn Sheriff back into Sheriff. Now, you probably saw this here scary thing here. That's actually Mac disguised as Miss Fritter, because there's Miss Fritter right there. Pretty good job. Even got the horns, the original horns. That's actually Mac. Look, I'll turn around and show you. See, there's Mac. And here is original Mac, before I painted them all up. Now, in the video I did yesterday, I turned Cruz back. He was retired. Now he's back in the Primer Cruz. And Chick Hicks is going to be Leroy Lemming on the weekend. And Jackson Storm, not sure yet. We're going to have a lot of fun with these cars now, but I'm turning them back into other things. And the first thing I'm going to do here with this here Sheriff, he's mostly black, so I'm going to paint them all black, well, except for the doors. And I'm going to paint the doors white, and I'm going to paint the white walls white, and the wheels gray. So it's going to be quite a long video, so I hope you don't mind. Just to sit back and relax and enjoy the show. First thing I'm going to do is get the black paint out and paint primer. Sheriff, mostly black. It's going to take more than a couple of... Um, sessions here to paint this because I have to let it dry between you know all the coats and everything and then I'll do the wheels and the tires the white walls but this is a good idea thanks uh, I think uh, the guy's name was Little Harky no I think so I'm not quite sure someone suggested it okay I have to hold the car up so and see what I'm doing here it's all black except for the door which is white and that's gonna be fun to do and the back the bumpers gray in the back so I'm gonna leave the bumper gray as much as I can and I'll touch it up later when I I'll put some more gray on later when I get a chance. So listen, thank you guys for um, watching my videos and uh, thanks for participating in the video last night. I asked you what time you like the video uploaded. Um, I'm gonna stick with the mornings like I always did because uh, that seems to be the best for me. Yeah, I can just patch that up there with some gray at another time and um, make sure it looks pretty good. Bumpers are the right color anyway, so it's not too bad. And these lights in the back are gray, so I'll have to do them again. Pretty good. As long as they don't make a mess around them right now. As long as they get the black on. And it's going pretty good. And again, like I said, I don't know what happened a minute ago, but at the furnace start I had to stop for a minute. So thanks again for all you guys that are supporting us here and coming back and watching the video all the way through. It makes such a big difference to my watch time. And I explained to you what watch time is before. If you watch the video all the way, then YouTube will actually um, show the video to more people. If they don't watch it, if they skip away, then they just skip away too. Actually there's the, the white door it's supposed to be up there so I have to stop there. The door is white right to the top so it's going to be tight squeeze around that. I have to let this dry first. Oops, darn it. I'll fix that. No problem. Anyway it's going on pretty good. What do you think guys? Black so far. I'll do the um, the front part. Now I'll leave the door gray. I'll do that white when this is dry. See if I can make that really cool. And it's black right across the top here and it all re only requires one coat. Remember I usually put two coats on, but that really takes a lot more time. And my heat lamp does a good job actually drying it all. It's perfect, but I won't need it for this job, that's for sure. By the time this here is dry, I'll put the white on, and there's not much to make in this guy, that's for sure. Black and white, the cop car. Okay, I'll hold it by the door and do this side now. So you guys, I want to thank you guys for sending in your suggestions. Um, uh, this one here I think was Little Harky suggested I go with um, or Casper, one or the other, I forget which one it was now. I repaint Sheriff as his original colors, which, oh darn it, I got on the door. Oh well, I can paint around that when I'm doing the white. I wasn't concentrating, of course. It's hard to do this when you're trying to talk and pay attention to everything at the same time. Oh boy. Now, here comes the hard part. The grill is gray, but it's black right down to the grill. If I do this right, I want to do the grill again. And, oh darn, they got some on the grill. It never fails. I'll do those lights in red anyway, so I'll have to do them over anyway. Well, I tried. So it's got a lot of catching up to do here. I can figure it out later. I tried my best not to get it on there, but once you make one mistake, you may as well just do them all. And there's a red line under that. That's not too bad. It's going to look good. There. And I'll leave the bumper gray. And above the eyes is black. Now I just use a tiny little brush for that. I got a small little brush right here for the above the eyes. That looks good. That's better. Sheriff is not too hard to do. It's just two colors, black and white. 
and one line down the middle is gray actually I was gonna take that black but it looks like it's gray so I'm not gonna change that there look at that nice and I've got my brush back the big brush I'll finish off the top of the roof I may have to do the touch-ups on the gray again right on the lights are you guys watching along now still hit the like button don't forget to hit the like I get a lot of views but not a lot of likes so either you're skipping away or you're not putting the like button so I need the like button press go down there hit the thumbs up thanks very much appreciate that and um, it helps everything actually when you interact with the video it helps my watch time and that's what it's all about guys getting the watch time up I kind of went too far in the door there so I have to fix that up when I'm done okay now let's see the doors are okay the eyes are done just a side here just coming down to post it's gonna be tough to do that a little bit black here and then it's gonna be white so okay it's not too bad let's leave this dry and come back and put the white on now hold my fingers right there come right down here with the black there okay the black is pretty much done on the car now now that's half a sheriff let's have a look lots to go yet let that dry and come back and put the white on okay the black dried pretty good and I got some white right here. I'm going to paint the doors down. I'm going to try and do uh, probably a better job than I did with the black. Let's try to get it perfectly down the side here. So it's just right. Let's see what the side looks like. Because all the way down to the bottom, there's a black strip at the bottom. I'll do that on later. That's going to be easy. I just want to make sure I get the right proportions done actually here. So it's kind of back onto the black a little bit here. And like I said, I keep saying over and over again, thanks you guys for tuning in to watch the videos. It's really, really nice what you're doing. Thanks very much. I hope I'm making your day a little bit better by doing this. I'm having fun with it. I'll touch that black up again once I get this on here. I know that's a big kind of a mess there, what I got going, but I'll fix that with the black. It'll be easier. Oh, something on the window. And I think my brush is no good. That's what's wrong here. It's too thick, I think. I have to repaint the mirrors too. Yeah, I'm gonna get another brush. This one's pretty bad. But anyway, that's all I do with that door. I'll fix the rest up with the black. I'll turn that around now. And I'll do, do this door with this new brush. See if it makes a difference. Yes, see the brush makes a big difference, you know. It doesn't, didn't carry the paint right or anything. It was just a mess. I will put a black line in the bottom of that door too. But I'll have to do the mirrors over again. And a few other little things over again. But that's okay though. That's why we have lots of paint. And nothing's perfect in this business. I'm not a very good artist. One guy said I was a good artist. I don't think so. I don't think at all. I'm just having fun here, making videos and hoping I'm making your day a little bit better. And remember to hit the like button up there. That came way better. Check that out. Look at that door, it's perfect. See, that's how it should have looked. And the headlights, I'm gonna put another, actually they're gray on share up there, but I'm gonna make them white because I think they should be white. Nice and bright white. And there's a little tiny red beetle on the bottom there. See it? Under the grill, there's a small bit of red. I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm gonna get some gray too. This here gray here is kind of like, oh, well, it's still good. I might use that instead. Okay, here's my shiny bright red. I'll use that instead. I see one little speck actually, one little line there. Okay, here goes. You ready? It's gonna be a tight one. Okay, now I gotta patch the gray bumper up. Okay, no problem. And I got the white messed up too. Okay, lots of mess here, guys. So, oh, I'm gonna do that dry for a minute and come back and fix it up. I'm gonna touch the, uh, the red light on top. I have to paint here anyway, so I may as well fix the red light. Make it nice and bright red all the way around. There. At least you got the red light done anyway. It came pretty nice. Let's leave that for now. Other lights are gray, which are right on the sides. So I've got some gray paint I'm not, not using, so I'm going to use that gray right here on these lights. I'll try this hand instead. Sometimes I have to use my, left, my right hand, but I won't say left hand. Anybody out there use uh, left hand, right hand? It's called ambidextrous. Anybody? Oh, you can't see the car. I was looking at the car, not the camera. Anybody out there ambidextrous? You know what that means? You can use your left hand and your right hand. Sometimes I'm like that. Okay, now I can put this down, get a good look at the grill right here, and I'm gonna fix that black spot right there. There we go. And I'm gonna need some black. I'm gonna put some black right here. Cover that up, that 
this. And now I gotta fix the the bumper gray. Right down here, it's gonna be gray again. And that's going pretty good, actually. It's coming up pretty good. I know I can hide this stuff with the paint. It's pretty easy. Just gotta be patient, that's all. There. That came nice. It looks pretty good so far. Right, now let's turn it to the side. I think the paint dried since I did this. So now I'm gonna get some more gray and put it on the, the mirrors right here on the side. They were actually gray too. See, just like that. And these lights on the back, they're both gray. I'll cover them up right now. Oh, darn it. I mean, oh, big mess. Darn it. I'm not very good at this, guys. So look at that. And on the back bumper, let's have a look. Mostly gray, but I got some black in the way. Right there. And I'll fix that up right here. Gee, this is not as good as I'd hoped it would be. But so far, so good, I guess. Yeah, I, gotta, I just had a touch up there, that's all. I gotta zoom on a little bit, so it's kind of out of focus. Okay, let's go back to this door where I made a mistake. I'm gonna put some black on the bottom of the door, just like the picture. I mean, just like the other car. Yeah, same on the other side, too, because this kind of outlines the door. See? Look. Pretty good. And so right along here, I'll try and smooth it off a little bit better. There, that came nice. Now, how does the other side look? Actually, that's not too bad, except the uh, the mirror has to be gray. I'll do that right now. Nice, wow, that's pretty good. And I'm gonna do the wheels, the white wall wheels, and I'm gonna have to like, actually, I'm gonna do the wheels first and then the tires, because uh, there's silver wheels in here, not, they're not actually um, red like Fabulous Sheriff used to be. That's what he was, remember? Fabulous Sheriff. I'm going to do the tires later. Obviously, because this is going to be a big mess right now while I have to fix this up. And the wheels. I'm not going to have much room for the white, for the tires. It's going to be mostly white with the white wall. Well, there's the four tires. And let's see, some more black paint here. Now I can probably touch up the mess I made here. I be careful all the time because I'm going to touch the car and make a mess. Here we go. Okay, now let's turn it around and have a look at the front. That looks pretty good. Now let's turn aside. I'm going to put some more white on that door. Just a little bit more white on the door because it's kind of washed right through, didn't it? Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna touch up up here again, and I'll touch that up with the black when it dries. And put the black line in the bottom. Let's see that dry for a few minutes. We'll come back and check it out. Okay, that dried pretty good. We're almost done here, except for the tires, of course. So I'm gonna make a few more touch-ups right here. Um, the black line in the bottom of the door has to go on, of course. The door opens up. And that blended in pretty nice. And I still have to make the white wall on the tires. Let's see how the rest of it looks. Okay, so far that looks, oh, there's a little bit of gray on the engine hood. There's a tiny little hood on, but remember a lot of cars back in the old days? Right there. Okay, I'll try that again with a tiny little brush. Okay, and I actually got some black to go back on right here with this nice little brush. I should have used that all along. It's a great little brush. There, that's perfect. Be very careful around this stuff. It's so easy to make a mistake. Now, how does that look? It's not exactly symmetrical, so I'm gonna put a little bit of a gray dot right there. Perfect. Now, I have to get some white for, actually, you know what? There's some more black to go on right here. I just noticed that up here. Actually, you know what? That's gray, sorry. Here. And we'll come back in a few minutes. Oh man, did you see that? There's a big streak on the hood. I'll come back in a few minutes and fix that up and um, do the white walls. Okay, we're back again. Sorry that takes a little longer than I had hoped, actually. Now, there's kind of an emblem right here in yellow, so I got a brush all ready to go. And I'm not going to be able to make a very perfect job of the emblem. I'm going to just draw what I think 
it looked like a yellow emblem here with the almost like ears on it on that side and maybe a black outline when that's done do the same on the other side I think yeah it's a yellow emblem on the door and it's put the right place for it I might try to put a black outline on it's gonna be hard I know that I'm gonna try now and write the word sheriff in black letters underneath that wish me luck this is where I don't do a very good job at sheriff you ready here it goes Gee, that wasn't too bad. Now turn the other side. I hope I can do that. As good as it did on that side, that's for sure. It wasn't even that great, but it was better than most of mine anyway. Whew, I got it on. I can't believe it. Sheriff, wow. Now I'm gonna try a black outline around that yellow emblem. See if I can do that. Hmm, not bad. Sort of black lettering in there. I can't do anything with that. Looks good. Now I'll try it on the other side, see if I can do that. Wow, that looks pretty darn good. Now, just one more thing. The door handle, I forgot, that's gray as well. That's right here. And on the other side, same thing. Door handle's right there. Now I have to come back and put white wall tires on. That'll be kind of hard. You know, here's the part I was dreading all along, the white wall tires. I got a nice brush, I'm gonna spin the tire and see if I can put white walls on him without making a big mess. Gee, that came pretty good actually. Now the hard part, the back, the back tires are really hard because I have to try and hold the car and spin the tire at the same time. Here it goes. There on this side. This is the tricky side. Here it goes. Wow, that came pretty good. Now the last tire. And we're almost done here guys, so I'm really impressed so far. Wow, let's have a look. Well, for this I had to take the camera off the tripod. This is repainted Sheriff, and there's the original Sheriff. Repainted Sheriff. What do you think? You know what? That's one of the best ones I've done, I think. There's a beautiful job. Not 100% perfect, of course. White walls are there. The single on the side is there. The red lights are there. The gray lights are there. So now we have original Sheriff back. Um, keep sending in your suggestions, guys. That came really good. I'm really impressed. Thanks for and thanks for watching and thanks for commenting on the, the chat here. I really appreciate you guys being there. And um, keep sending in your ideas. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day.